seriously. Look at the trees. It's like really windy. I think it's gonna storm. See the trees? Guys, I don't know if you can see this, but look at this rabbit. Look how cute it is. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see. Yep. There it is, you guys. You see it? It's kind of right between the bars of the fence, but it's so cute. So Dad and I are heading out today. we got to do some shopping. Good morning, Dad. Say hello. Hello. His hair is wild and crazy, you guys. I've got to cut his hair. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are heading to the store today. I've got some shopping to do, and so I am getting ready to drive down the road. I need to figure out some way of being able to put my camera, you guys, up on the dashboard while I drive so I can talk to you guys and not have to hold it because you can't drive and hold a camera while you're talking. But either way, um, I will show you more footage as I film it today and yeah we're gonna drive to the Dollar Tree right now so I'll see you in just a bit bye look at this dog in front of us in this car window is that not super cute look at that little face oh my goodness I love dogs he's just so chill <laughs> So we're going to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm driving so I can't really look at the camera much, but we are driving to the bank and then I've got to go by the grocery store and the pharmacy nothing exciting today it is starting to rain I had a feeling when the wind was picking up this morning that we were gonna get some rain so we are it is raining you guys I know it's raining right now but I wanted to show you this these were my mother's beautiful flowers at her house that she planted she loved to garden and every season she would actually plant new flowers. Let me roll this window up, you guys, because it's pouring the rain in here, but she would plant new flowers for every season, so when one season's flowers would die, the next would start blooming for the next season. So she always had flowers blooming every season. And I hope that makes sense. I can't explain it, but she had the best green thumb just ever. Look how pretty I don't really know what those are called, um, the purple flowers, but sorry, my windshield whoppers are going, but beautiful flowers. So I'm just having a really hard time, you guys, today, just missing her. And I know that we're all, as our loved ones die, we're going to go through these grief periods of just missing our loved ones, but today I'm really missing my mom. Um, But I know that she's smiling down from heaven on me and everything, but I can't wait to see her again one day. It just seems like it's going to be a long time from now, and each day is already hard. And I've heard that it gets easier, but whew, you guys, it's, it's hard. It's hard going out in public. It's hard going and, you know, seeing people out with their moms or their grandmothers and laughing and having fun. And it's also hard because Mother's Day is next weekend. And I don't have my mom anymore, and I'm kind of just devastated and sad. Um, I mean, you know, there are little things in this world that remind me of her, but just not to be able to physically have her here is so just oh, heart-wrenching. My heart just feels like it's got a hole in it, um, and it, it feels like my soul, part of my heart and soul went with her when she died. So I think a lot of this is just, you know, having to come here or let my dad off you know whenever he visits with me I drop him back off at the house and you go into the house and just everything just is mom you know you know from her you know clothing that hangs up and the just the smell of home smells like mom I mean it's just so sad 
but anyway sorry for the downer today but I'm just kind of missing my mom I wish I could talk to her but I wanted to share those beautiful flowers that she planted um, I think it's called an azalea bush you know and show you guys how pretty and what a green thumb she had I mean she does or she did beautiful work on gardening and that was her that was her hobby she loved gardening so anyway I'm gonna head home right now I just let my dad off and um, I will see y'all in a little bit Is right now about one o'clock and I am getting ready to head to Goodwill I am going to see um, what they have today I just want to do a little thrift store shopping and just get out of the house today I really don't have a whole lot going on today other than doing some thrift store shopping so that is what I'm doing today it is kind of once again a overcast day as you can see um, so you can see there's some water drops on the windshield but anyway so that's what I'm doing today I'm getting ready to head out and I will show you guys a little bit of footage I always feel weird going into Goodwill and or any store for that matter and taking my camera because I'm always afraid that you know somebody from the store is going to say something you know of me filming merchandise and stuff so um, I'm gonna film as much as I can in the store but if it feels like it's a little awkward people are staring too much then I'll probably just have to show you what I got when I come back so let's get this trip started My dad and I are getting ready to go to Zaxby's and we're going to get a milkshake and just enjoy that. But um, yeah, I tried to do some footage in Goodwill. Unfortunately though, it was so crowded. I got just a little bit of footage, but really not much at all. So I will include what footage I did get, of course, in this video. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get a milkshake and then when I get home, I will show you what I purchased at Goodwill. Hey guys, okay, I just got back home. Um, usually when I go to Goodwill, it's either hit or miss. You either find a ton of stuff that you love or you find absolutely nothing. Today they had a good selection and I haven't been to Goodwill in a while, so I was actually really surprised um, that they had so much merchandise today. I ended up not buying any clothes for me, you guys, which is kind of unusual because that's most of the time what I find there is just really cute clothing. Today it was mostly just like, household items and I did find um, my uncle who is in the hospital I found him a dress shirt after church um, for when he's able to go to church and then I found my dad a shirt that you know I'm really happy about and um, actually I take that back I did find one pair of sleep pants so you know just lounge pants around to, to wear around the house so um, anyway I'm going to show you what I got today also I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree haul from the other day that I purchased. Um, I haven't done that yet, so I'm just going to show you all of what I got at the Dollar Tree and all of what I got at Goodwill today. So let's get this uh, started and I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree items first. So let me grab those. Okay guys, at the Dollar Tree I picked up some hand soap. Um, this one is called Lavender Chamomile and it smells so good. So I ended up picking up two of these because we got two bathrooms and we are completely out of soap in the upstairs and just about out of it in the downstairs. So I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Surprise, surprise. But anyway, um, I got two of those. And this wardrobe that's right back here, I um, 
This, I told you guys a while back in a video that I wanted to organize my husband's just random items because he just uses it for random stuff. You know, not really clothes so much, but like, I don't know, computer cords or just, you know, old picture frames or just stuff like that. So I found three of these blue baskets. Um, I've got them stacked together right now, but I found three of these. I really wanted to get about six of them, but I found three. I like these. I like that they're blue because um, I don't know what I did with those other ones, but I found some other blue stackable um, little um, baskets the other day and that they're the same color blue so everything will be matching in there. But I also found, just due to the fact that they only had three of these baskets, um, it wasn't going to be enough for all the stuff that he has in there, so I ended up getting just these little white ones. Well, they're not really little, but um, I got three of these white ones as well so you could organize stuff in. So um, I was glad I found those because you guys, the last three times that I've been to the Dollar Tree, I literally couldn't find any of these type of containers. They were completely sold out. Um, I found those little stackable ones, but unfortunately they don't hold a lot. So I was really happy to be able to find six containers like total. So. <laughs> Um, anyways, I've got the six containers and I can start organizing that for him or he can start organizing it when he comes home, either way, but at least we've got them. Okay guys, the other thing that I found when I went to the, the Dollar Tree the other day, how cute are these? Oh my goodness, and I got red and blue. These are just like your mason jar type mugs, they've got the handles on them, they were a dollar of course, and I thought these were really cute, you know, for like just get togethers, 4th of July, just, you know, drinking some sweet tea or lemonade or water, just whatever you want to put in there. Um, but I thought these were great. I should have got four of them, but I just got two of them um, because we don't have a whole lot of like space for a lot of, we've got so many coffee cups and just glasses and stuff that I, I didn't want to get too many. So I just got two, uh, one for me and my husband for, you know, if we sit outside on the screen and porch and we just want to like you know, have a nice cool glass of something. Um, I just got two of them. So super cute. Again, this one is blue. And then we've got one that's red, red and clear. So I thought that was pretty cute. Okay. And I've just got one more bag from the Dollar Tree. I didn't go overboard this trip. I just got the stuff that I just really needed. So let me just show you the rest of what I've got. Okay, you guys. Yes, I'm going to be a big hit and check this. I got this container of six frozen um, pops that you can make your own popsicles and I thought that was just super cute. Um, I thought I could make all sorts of like, you know, like berry pops, possibly, you know, just like chocolate pudding pops for the summer. Um, and I just feel like if you got a pack of these and you made some pudding and any kind of pudding that you want. I mean, what is it? Jello is like a dollar a pack or something. It's really inexpensive. It would be so much cheaper to make your own than it would be to go out and purchase a box of pudding pops, which you only get six in a pack and they're like sometimes three and four dollars. So a dollar, a dollar pack of pudding, it would still save you probably half the cost of buying six popsicles. And then you can reuse these over and over each year for, you can do like yogurt pops, you could do like, um, you know, mix up some kind of like Kool-Aid and make Kool-Aid pops, just whatever you want to. So I was really happy that I found those and I'm going to do that this spring and summer and just make some popsicles for the freezer. Um, what else did I get? Okay guys, I'm going to show you a couple of things um, that I purchased. I was kind of sad to purchase these per these little things because they remind me of my mom. Um, my mother, we went, do you see these? These are little solar flowers. I got the white ones that have the yellow on the top and then I got the little pink ones. These are the solar ones that when they get in, when they sit in the window, they kind of just like move back and forth like they're dancing. Um, my mom, when she was going through treatments last year at the cancer center, we went into the cancer center shop and um, they had one of those little flowers that, um, it was just a single flower and it sat in a little pot and it just danced with the sun, which I just thought was just so cute. And I got it to brighten up her spirits and she loved it. She absolutely loved it. She actually, the day that I got it, we were going to drive down to Charlotte because um, I was going to go and um, look at their 
um, there was a countertop place for granite countertops and so um, I had purchased some granite countertops and I told her, I was like, well let's just ride down there and let's take a look at these granite countertops together. So after her treatment and her little flower, we stuck that little flower in the cup holder and it danced all the way down the road to Charlotte and it just made her so happy. So when I saw these in the dollar store the other day, I just had to pick these up. And granted, even though she's not here, I'm going to stick these in my window and every time I look at them, they're just going to remind me of her in that happy day when we went down there and the little flowers were dancing and she was just smiling and just loved it. So yeah, um, so I've got two of those and I'm going to stick one. Um, I'm not sure which window I'm going to stick them in. I'll pro I might stick them in my office window here just because it's got really good lighting, but um, yep, got two of those. And if you guys are interested in picking those up, they have them, well, they have them here in North Carolina at the Dollar Tree, but um, they probably have them in several Dollar Trees, and they had different colors and different types of flowers. So check those out if you want to pick up one. Okay, so I just picked up a couple of sponges. I use these for cleaning the shower in our bathroom, um, you know, dishes, whatnot. So I got a pack of those. And this is the kind that has like the little scrubbies on one side and then the soft sponge on the other. So this is really good for cleaning. I don't know, your, your, if you have like a plastic um, shower liner inside your, your shower, it's good to not scratch the shower to use the spongy side. But it's great for like glass and stuff because we have a glass shower door, you know, as you've probably seen in the past. Um, it's great for cleaning residue off of your um, glass, you know, like soap scum and so forth. So that's really good for that. Um... Also, for my planner, um, I picked up, these are really cute, what are these called? These are flag paper clips, so when I get my appointment book out and I'm scheduling my clients for haircuts and appointments, I hate having to like flip through all the pages to get to the right page, so I picked up a pack of these. These are super cute. Look how cute those are, you guys. They've got different designs. I don't know, can you see that? That's a little blurry. I don't think you can see it, but um, some of these, like these have little hearts on them. And then the other ones have just got like little strap designs, like little um, little V-shaped designs on them. So I thought those were really cute. And you get six of them for a dollar. So, yeah. And then I picked up a couple of packs of the facial pads. I like these round pads. They've got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it looks like there's 80 in a pack. I think you might get more if you go to um, like the grocery store, like Walgreens and stuff has them that has more in a pack, but I don't remember if they were $2 or if they were a dollar. I'm not really sure which is the best buy on that, but I was, I was out of these and while I was there, I just decided I'm just going to pick them up. So I got two packs of these. I got another pack of the mailing tape. So... That's always good if you're sending off a letter or a box or you know shipping out something. So it was a dollar. I got that as well. I need another one of these. These are the uh, wall tap um, swivel. This is a swivel design um, electrical outlet that you plug into the wall for multiple cords to be plugged into. And I needed one of these for the living room. Um, one of our outlets in the living room just went out. It doesn't work anymore. I have no idea. It's like. The top one doesn't work, but the bottom one works, so it makes no sense to me. But either way, um, I picked this up to plug into the bottom outlet since it is still working, so then I can maybe use three cords at one time instead of just the one. I need to get my husband to take a look at that and see what's going on with it because it doesn't make any sense why it's not working. But up until then, I have a three-prong outlet <laughs> to be able to use. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's the, the other pack of the um, facial pads but that's all i got from the dollar tree so i hope that you liked all that stuff and if you did run out and pick it up because you never know what you're going to find and um that's what i got that's all i needed for the house so okay guys so let's get let's get on to the goodwill haul i'll show you what i got i'm super excited to show you what i got um and uh yeah i'm gonna show you now i have a lamp that's in my spare bedroom and it comes with this dark brown shade <clears throat> which Mm, I don't know. It's like when the when the night time comes and you turn it on, it just still makes the room really dim and dark. So I don't like the dark brown shade as much. I found one that's almost exactly what I was looking for. Can you see the shade, you guys? It's two dollars at Goodwill. I mean, it it looks like it's in excellent condition. So I'm going to be putting this in its place of that ugly brown shade. 
um, and hope that it fits okay and looks right and then maybe that'll brighten up the room a little bit more when people come to stay. This is for the lamp that's in our spare bedroom. So um, very happy that I found it. I found my dad. He loves wearing blue jean type shirts. My mom really did too. They just loved blue jean. Um, I found my dad. Well, I don't know if you can see this well. It's a blue jean shirt, which is kind of hard to show on this camera, but um, it's made by Faded Glory, and I just thought that this would be really good for him to wear. He just loves blue jean. It, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's no damage, nothing, because sometimes you can find at Goodwill that there's items that has holes in them or, you know, a stitch has come undone and there's a string or something hanging or a button missing, but this shirt's in excellent condition, and I was super happy to find it for him. So I'm going to wash this and, and let him wear that. Um, okay, so those blue lounge pants I was telling you guys about. How cute are these? I mean, seriously? These are a large, you guys. I usually wear a medium. But, I mean, they're spandex, and they don't look like, you know, like they've got a drawstring. So, I mean, I think I'd rather be comfortable than have something that's, you know, fits just perfect. Because I'm always afraid. I'm always afraid that if you buy clothing and um, it's not pre-shrunk already that it will shrink even more. So I got the large pair but um, again they have the word it looks like it says Iron Man I don't even know what this means Iron Man North Carolina Beach 2 Battleship well, I, don't, I, I don't even know. All I know is that these are so soft so comfortable and um, I guess they're made by a company called, let me see, Without Limits. So, um, again, I liked them. They have the drawstring. The actual uh, lettering on the pants says finisher. So they might be a, like a pair of exercise pants of some sort, but um, they are so soft, and I really didn't care as long as it didn't have anything, you know, like, as long as it, you know, it doesn't say anything graphic or anything bad on it, you know, then I didn't care if it says finisher on them. I'm just excited about the material. And I'm not going to be wearing these out. It's just going to be for a lounge around the house. So I was kind of happy to find those, you guys. Um, secondly, I found my... I found this shirt, you guys, for um, my uncle... Uh, for church. I told you I got him a, a, a shirt for church. I found him a navy blue shirt. I thought this would be really nice, which it's kind of hard to see, but it is a collared shirt, um, you know, with buttons and everything, and it's made by Van Hewson. Van Hewson. So, um, it's a large, I think he wears a medium, but, um, it, you know, it'll be fine. It'll look great with some black dress slacks and um, a pair of black dress shoes. So, I've got that for him. And... I did manage to find him one more shirt, um, which, you know, I was just thinking about it. If that shirt does not fit him, it's too big. My husband wears a large, so I might be able to give it to him and let him wear that um, because, I don't know, I mean, it seems like a lot of his dress shirts are just getting all tattered and torn from work trips, so that might be for my husband. We'll see which one can fit into it. But this shirt, I found one more shirt. Um, let me see if I can show you. This shirt is supposed to be a wrinkle-free. It's a beige and black shirt with some gold stripes. And I like that it's neutral. I like the fact that you can wear this with khakis. You can wear this with the black dress pants. It is made by Townscraft, and it's wrinkle-free stain release. So I got this. This is a medium, so this I know my uncle can wear because he wears a size medium shirt. So that will look really great with some uh, dress pants for church. I also picked up you guys from the Dollar Tree. This is so cute. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. It's a little, I don't even know what you call this, like a little uh, pinwheel thing. Um, it was a dollar. I was, I'm planning on sticking this in the flower bed in the front yard. So um, I thought that was really cute. I should have got two of them. They had yellow and I think they had blue and green and pink, but I really like the pink. I think it draws attention. So I'm going to put this under the picture window in the living room. And the other thing that I got was this, I don't know if you can see this, but this garage sale sign. We are planning on having a garage sale um, this summer. And so this, I was going to get some of those dry erase markers. And you can probably reuse this if, with, you know, the dry erase markers. So I was really happy to find this as well. It was also, you know, at the Dollar Tree. They had um, 
the ones that also go on the phone poles and stuff, but um, I just decided just to go with this one sign, and as people drive by, they can, I mean, because we have a busy street here at our house, and so, um, yeah, I thought that this would be plenty enough, but, you know, if we need to make more signs, we'll probably just do them on some of the stock paper and stick them on the phone poles, but anyway, I thought that was, that was pretty cool, so. <laughs> okay, guys, I am so excited about this. Um, you guys are going to laugh at me, but I love quilts, okay? I just love decorating in my house. I probably would go and buy more home decor items and more things to decorate my house than I would clothing. I mean, I'm just that type of chick. Some some women love clothing, which don't get me wrong, I love clothing and shoes and all that stuff, makeup and stuff, but I love some home accessories to decorate my house. I found this quilt. It came from Target, because I don't know if a lot of you know, but sometimes Target will send some stuff, maybe if they just have an overstockment of stuff, they will send it to Goodwill to donate. And, well, I don't know if it's just donating or if it's they get a percentage of the profit or how that works, but Goodwill sells Target stuff. This quilt, I mean, so beautiful. It's not reversible. It has the same pattern on both sides, but can you guys see that? It's got like big leaves on it. I don't know if those are palm leaves. I'm not sure what kind of leaves they are, but they are beautiful. I got this quilt and I'm so proud of it and I plan on putting it on the bed in the spare bedroom because it is a full slash queen. So um, yeah, that was an awesome find. I cannot believe I found that. Last but not least, I found the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings DVD. Now granted, I know I'm a dork, <laughs> but you guys, it was like a dollar fifty or a dollar. I don't even know, but I had to get it. It was in excellent condition. I love this movie. I have the two DVDs of the um, the I can't remember the, the other one, The Return of the King and the something Tower or something. I can't remember. I have the second and third video of this, but I decided to go ahead and pick this one up because I don't have this on DVD. Yep, it was like a dollar. So super excited about that. So that's it guys. That is all I purchased over the past couple of days. Um, I hope that you like the footage that I have made this week. It wasn't a whole lot, but if you like it, please do give this video a thumbs up. I will be back on Monday for Motivational Monday, and guess what you guys? I am finally going to be spray painting my cabinets, um, cabinet doors for the kitchen. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned for Monday to um, see us use our spray paint gun for the first time ever. And then on top of that, just to see how it does on the actual cabinet doors. So be on the lookout for that. And um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would love to have you as our little YouTube family here. Um, and that is it. That's all I've got to say for now. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you back here on Monday. And you guys have a great weekend. Lots of love to you all. Bye.